everybody, my name is KOEG, and thank you guys again for clicking another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about Risk of Rain 2 and modding. And I'll be honest with you, um, it's been kind of insane. Because over the last year, I've went through some of my lowest lows, some of my highest highs. And I'll be honest with you, in the last two videos of For Risk of Rain, um, I've had some of the best comments and some of the worst ones. But again, it's just been an incredible year of both ups and downs and i'm hoping to be able to continue on the up and up but you guys aren't here to listen to me have this spiel you guys are here to talk about modding now if you guys have watched my previous two videos they have a lot of the information that is probably still relevant but so the beginning portion is actually going to help you out the most why is that because there's one critical mod that you're going to need to be able to run all of them and First things first is you are going to need the Risk of Rain 2 mod manager. We are going to be using Thunderstore.io because that's where a lot of the mods come from. Although I have heard some people using Nexus mods, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. As much as I use Nexus mods for a lot of my uh, Monster Hunter uh, personal mods and even Code Vein and some other ones. Um, which if you guys want to hear any other modding videos, let me know. I actually like modding a lot of my games, so I'd love to be able to make videos uh, for those if you guys are down. Leave a comment down in this, uh, down below, and I'll read them. But anyway, um, wow, that was a lot of talking. Let's get into modding, yeah. So first things first is you're gonna go over to Thunderstore.io. Now Thunderstore.io is probably the most important website that you're gonna be using for Risk of Rain 2 modding, and you're gonna hit install with Mod Manager. Once you install it, you're gonna go into your downloads folder. You're going to make sure that you follow any on-screen instructions. Make sure that it is in the correct folder. And I'll show you how to make sure that it's in the correct folder here right now. So the first things first is you're going to go over into the settings of Risk of Rain 2 Mod Manager. And you're going to go find the actual Risk of Rain 2 path, which will be Program Files 86 or 64, depending on the type of system that you use, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Risk of Rain 2. Now, this is the most important part because if you don't install your mods in the correct place, it's not going to know where to read it from. And to be completely honest with you, if you have any other custom directories, you definitely want to direct it there. I use the default directories. Some people tell me not to, but it helps me remember where everything is because I've been doing it for so long. But anyway, so first things first is you're going to need to download the Risk of Rain 2 API by Tristan McPherson and the Beppin EX pack by Bepisplus or Bepiplis, um, or Bepis, I don't know, I like saying his name. Um, and make sure that you go over and you click these two first. Before you do anything, make sure that these are installed. And the reason why is because they will allow for every other mod to be able to work. Now you're gonna go over to confirm changes. Once you go over to confirm changes, if you have anything done, so I'll use this real quick, download the original soundtrack or you know, whatever mods you have, hit apply these changes, hit next, and then it will download whatever mods you currently have installed. And it's that easy. There's really nothing else to it. And if you want to install a mod, uncheck it, it'll bring it up, apply these changes, next, uninstalled. Boom. Done. It's literally, that's it. You're done. All you have to do is boot up the game, make sure that you get the, um, command prompt that'll start up sh uh, showing you all of your mods that will uh, be downloaded and activated and make sure that when you get into the game they all work so really quick I'm gonna download some of these mods and I'm you know just gonna go over and I'm gonna grab a minimap mod uh, I don't know I'm gonna grab a bigger bazaar because why not uh, War Banner Begun, you could download that, but I don't see why not. You could skip the welcome screen. I don't know why you wouldn't to, wouldn't want to. Um, boss item drop. Some of these mods, man. Anyway. Character Customizer Plus? Sure, why not? Let's download those two. Um. Sure. Let's download Wild Magic, because, you know, for all my D&D &D fans, you, you definitely want... Oh, magic, Jesus. Um, then you, I don't know, just to say that these are the mods that I want to use right now. So I'm going to go over to confirm changes. I'm going to apply. I'm going to hit next. And then boom, done. Right? Back to package list. 
to let me know. And if I want to make sure I can see what I have installed, I can hit the install, go back to page one, and then it'll show me which ones that I currently have installed. Now, the next thing is, is that if you are trying to download these mods and you're trying to play online, you can join someone who has a vanilla client, but you cannot have them join you unless you also have multiplayer mods or they have the games modded. That may have been changed in the most recent updates. A lot of people have been saying it has, but just to make sure that you're on the same page with your friends, make sure that you guys have the same mods installed. This way, or at least some, most of the same mods installed, this way you guys are be able to play the game with each other with no problem. Now when you start the game, you'll have this command prompt. Now the command prompt will basically tell you, hey, this is exactly what you need, you know, what's being uh, started in your game, and then your game will start. It'll load as normal. It'll take a little bit longer because it's now trying to activate all these bonds, but when you go into your single player game, if let's say you want to you customize your character, you can. I don't know exactly how that works, which I'm pretty sure you could do in loadout, and then boom, you're done. This is all you need to get done. All right, I haven't played the game in a while, so this is definitely something that um, I haven't done in quite some time. Ooh, some cool stuff. Anyway, there's some cool stuff, and it's that easy. So, again, if this quick and easy video definitely helped you, do me a favor. Hit that like, comment, subscribe button, buttons. If there's anything you guys need help with, feel free to put it in the comments down below. I know that I've definitely been not present in my own comment sections, but that's hoping to change now that I'm having a lot more free time to be able to not only work on YouTube content, but to continue working on my stream. And if you guys want to support me, I'll be playing a lot of different games over on my stream at twitch.tv slash mark link down in the description below and also if you guys want to join my discord i'll also put the discord link in below and if you guys want to help me out support the dream you guys can sub to, to my patreon for only a dollar i'll be at, reworking my patreon over in the next couple of months um because i have a lot of things that i feel like are just better for not only the channel but for my twitch channel and for the community which is you guys you guys make the dream grow you guys are the backbone behind every content creator and that's not going to change no matter what anybody says so again thank you so very much for the continued love and support thank you guys again for everything you guys done and thank you for clicking this video if this video helped you share it maybe that'd be awesome but until next time i'll catch you guys later Bye bye